Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to another video. I'm here with updates on the Atlantic. So we have six tropical systems to talk about. We're in the peak of the season now, and we have a lot going on. So our two new invests could become tropical storms, and they are threats to land. And we also have the other two disturbances to talk about, as well as our tropical storms, Paulette and Rennie. And so guys, if you want to know if you will be affected and how strong these will get, please keep watching this video. And so guys, before I go into the details, as usual, please ensure to, sus to subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity rise through the season and you can also follow me on Instagram okay so first we want to go to tropical storm Rennie and we are not seeing much of a tropical storm here just these spots of showers and thunderstorms not much going on with Rennie at all but on the Cone forecast for the National Hurricane Center. We are expecting Rennie to strengthen close to hurricane strength, but not reaching there. But it was expected to be a hurricane earlier in the week, but now um, that is not expected. And so we're expecting a bit of erratic movement, somewhat of a loop early next week. And then we could see a more set westward like track from Rennie. But during the next five days, fortunately, it is not expected to be a threat to land. And so at this time, it has sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. And it is moving to the west-northwest at around 10 miles per hour. So again, guys, fortunately, this is not going to be a threat to land during the next couple of days. And then with the potential intensity for the tropical system here, um, the models are expecting it. Most of our models here are keeping it at tropical storm status. As you're seeing, some are expecting it to strengthen, but just one at this time expecting that it will become a hurricane. And so next, let's go on to Paulette. And so there we have it. Paulette is, of course, looking a lot better organized than Rennie, and we're expecting this to continue strengthening. So the shear definitely took a toll on the system, but the strengthening has now resumed, and now it is a strong tropical storm. So now let's go to the National Hurricane Center's corn forecast for Paulette. So as you're seeing, guys, as I said earlier, it's a strong tropical storm. It has sustained winds of 65 miles per hour, and it is moving to the west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. And so we're expecting that Paulette will be, at max, a Category 2 hurricane. But I wouldn't be surprised if it strengthens more than what the National Hurricane Center is expecting at this time. And we're seeing there, it is expected to curve out to sea, so definitely a fish storm. And it is going to be a threat to Bermuda. But again, the cone is constantly shifting, so we just have to keep monitoring it but if you're in Bermuda you want to be safe but the fortunate thing is that even if it is going to be affecting you guys as a hurricane it won't be around for a very long time so that is the very fortunate news with Paulette and then now let us go on to what intensity are our models expecting from this tropical storm here and so there we have it so we have most of our models expecting that it will definitely be a hurricane we have a lot saying that it will reach category 2 status which is most likely and we have a few saying that it will reach category 3 one at this time taking it close to being category 4 so again it is not impossible but as it is going to be increasing in latitude there will be cooler waters which will encourage weakening all right guys so now let us go to this first disturbance located in the gulf of mexico and so as you're seeing it is given a low 30 percent chance of development through the next five days and so at this time it is located to the southeast of Louisiana right there and so we're expected to move to the west and then make a turn to the south and then when it moves into that shaded region into the western Gulf of Mexico we're definitely expecting that this could definitely become a tropical system here so the chance is there for it to become even a tropical depression but it is really going to be having limited time guys but if you're in Mexico you might experience enhanced rainfall and so this next disturbance located just off Africa is expected to move mainly to the northwest and so it is it could produce some shower and thunderstorm activity over the Cabo Verde Islands but we're expecting that this will most likely be a fish storm as well so at least during the next couple of days aside from the Cabo Verde Islands nowhere expected to be affected by this here and as you're seeing it is given a medium 40% chance of development through the next five days and I believe this is the it is staying at 40% now for probably over a day now so we might see it rising soon and then next invest 95 l so this is a very um 
significant tropical system that we have to pay attention to guys and as you are seeing it is given a high 90% chance of development through the next 5 days and also a high 70% chance through the next 48 hours so maybe later this weekend or very early next week this could become a tropical depression I wouldn't be surprised if it happens sooner but we're expecting it to move more to the west and this could be a threat to the Caribbean so if we're in the lesser entities of at, um, as of now actually you want to be cautious because this could be a very significant system here and then on satellite view there we have it disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity so we're not seeing any defined center of circulation none of that but of course it is going to be encountering more favorable conditions that are going to be encouraging it to strengthen and become much better organized as a tropical system and if this become a tropical system at least before invest 96l which we will go to very soon we um it will acquire the name Sali. and then looking at our potential intensity here from the malls all our malls expecting this to become a tropical storm and we have three expecting it to become a hurricane they all keep it at a category one which is definitely possible guys but again if it gets much stronger it's um, I wouldn't be much surprised with that. So next, let's talk about Invest 96L. So this is another another one to watch. And so as you're seeing, guys, it is given a medium 60% chance of development through the next five days. And so this will be a threat to the Gulf Coast. So at this time, it is located over the north northwestern Bahamas. So you might be experiencing some shower and thunderstorm activity, and it will continue to enhance the rainfall activity across your area if you're in the Bahamas or South Florida or the Florida Keys. So please be prepared and stay safe guys because this could also cause some flash flooding. So once it moves into the Gulf, it will be moving in favorable conditions. And looking at the nice view of it right now, there we have it. So we're kind of starting to see somewhat of circulation, but it's not so defined. And then also due to the land interaction with Florida, it is not going to be developing during the next, I'd say, next two days or so. But once it moves into the Gulf, we will definitely see some development taking place. I mean, it's the peak of the season. Conditions are so favorable right now, and we just have to watch it, guys. And so, guys, it is likely that this could become another tropical storm. And again, the next two names on the list are Sally and Teddy. So it could have those two being tropical storms maybe by early next week. And so, guys, that is really it for this update. And so if you found this video to be pretty informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be otherwise, and I will keep giving updates.